What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with another episode of Minecraft First Timers. And I'm here with the wedding crasher himself, Jamie Reagan. How are you? Um, <laughs> I've had better days, actually. <laughs> you, do you, yeah. First, what do we do in this episode? We're going to go see the slime farm. Oh, yes. So in previous episodes, uh, last episode, uh, I may have let you down. Not you. I'm talking to the viewer. This is like a candid two viewer. Like, mm, yeah, yeah, you're breaking um, the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, does, it does better for uh, ad dollars. That's why. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I, I may have ruined previous episodes, but I'm not working. Uh, and I figured out why it's not working. So we're going to check it out. Uh, just so you yeah. know, I turned you up a little on my uh, on my Discord so you can maybe be heard a little bit better because I, I did turn up oh, my I, volume. Oh, am I quiet? No, 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 no. I was I changed the volume of my mic so I want it to be similar. Oh, uh, can I make? I want. I I still want to make an apology. Hmm. Uh, now if I'm quiet. No, no, no. You're I, not. I'm a little. I'm I'm a little. Little little hungover. <laughs> uh yeah 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 so so uh, i also have to enchant uh, a pick a pickaxe and i wanted to wait to do that on camera oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah well that's not the theme of the episode but you know if you want to you know break the break you know our planning you can we've never planned it every episode is planned T scripted is that i think the word you're looking for mm. Mm, Watch this. I don't be a fortune three pickaxe. I'll be honest, I don't think scripted was the word we were looking for, but you know, pretty sure script. I don't have lapis, so just kind of if you could stay there and. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow! I wish we had some lapis lazuli right now. Hope you know today I was. Uh, so Emily was showing me her crystal collection, and she goes, and I pick up like this like stone. It's like black as night. And I go, uh, oh, what is this? She goes, that's obsidian. I go, oh, they made this in real life? This is in Minecraft. <laughs> she didn't find it funny. No way. That's, that's a banger joke, man. I, I thought it kind of slapped. And then she showed me Lapis. And I was like, this was also in Minecraft. I didn't know they made it in real life. And once again, I'm not even a smirk. All right. We uh, I enchanted my current pickaxe. We got fortune two. Oh, that's not and bad. We just got this one with a uh, silk touch. Oh, but I had a ton of levels, so I'm gonna do one more, and it got in unbreaking three. So, good haul, good haul. Oh, you that ended up pretty good. Uh, I will be using this uh this fortune. Yeah, uh, no, I'm gonna if I could have my pickaxes back. That wasn't me giving it to you. You should repair that one. Don't let it break. Yeah, no, I'm not, not going to let it break. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's check out this slime farm. Actually, wait. We kind of got off to say it. I'm not just, like, hung over for, like, no reason. I was no, like, it's 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 a freaking... <laughs> it's a Tuesday. You drank on a Monday. Yeah, it's it's kind of odd no, that you're hung it's, over it's today. Sunday. It's a 5-14, like, the date... It was, a, it was a wedding. Someone has to be the life of the party. And I said, why not me? So. I respect it. See, would you say you uh, bring the party? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Josh, doing, that would have been such a great segue. Oh, that would have been such a And Josh here in the uh, slime farm. But how was it? So was it open bar? Is that the... Uh... Yeah, no, it was, it, it was open bar. Uh, I got my money's worth out of that. One. That's what I like to hear. You... Oh my god! Okay, wait. I swear there. W okay, Jamie. Look, look. Screenshot. There were. Sl There's just not always slimes in here. Hmm. Uh, this was the theme of the episode. Well, there, there is still more we have to do to it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
Although it, it is minorly digging related, so that's fine. That's fine. You want to give me it's, it's a what? You want to give me a stack of torches? Oh, I don't have. I don't have. Actually, I don't have. Any. You have no torches. How are we supposed to light up more of the? Uh... That's not the problem. That's not, so. So the oh, I, I I didn't mention this. So uh, the problem with the slime farm was that there's like a bunch of caves around here that just. Uh, so. I spent uh, too much time <laughs> just lighting those. Hmm. But uh, what we need to do more is kind of figure out like a three block gap on all sides of this. Uh, so what do you mean? Like but, three down like this? End up being like three blocks deep as well i believe actually that's a lie it won't need to be that deep but it'd be like two blocks deep but uh i don't know if we want to do back-to-back -back digging episodes uh we're already here oh i don't i don't know it's not back-to-back because -back we did find the ship in the last episode oh i forgot it mainly because i got cut out of it your mic's still not great. It's better than it was, but you're still definitely cutting. I don't, I, my my mouth is touching. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Um. Okay, so I got a story. Uh. No, we're good. We're good. What? From, what, from my I, story? I, I don't... I don't... No, I just don't want to hear it. Oh. Sorry, we. We don't want to hear it. Like, on behalf of fans. Okay, so... So I went to a party this weekend, actually yesterday also. It wasn't a wedding, but I did drink a lot. But one of my friends were there, and I kind of... Oh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. You want to run over there? Get in front of me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Right there. Right I did there. It. Money, I did it. money, too, money. Too, too yep, hard. yep. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. 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 Sorry. Re restart your story. Uh, I, I jumped no, in no, there. no, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. So every year, one of my friends were there and it reminded me, every year I go to this friend's, uh, this friend's 4th of July party every year because he is the, his family is the epitome of America. I pull up to this party every year. He has the don't tread on me flag in the American flag hanging eight feet tall in the backyard. And I get greeted oh by their golden retriever holding a corn on the cob. <laughs> like straight up. <laughs> they give the, he's grilling the fathers there, grilling corn on the cob. And just hands one to the golden retriever and it runs around with a corn on the cob in its mouth. <laughs> and, and so I'm hanging out there and the, it's clearly the dad's playlist. It's a mix of dad rock and like early 90s. Like uh, it's really just dad rock. And it's then Kid Cuddy. <laughs> kid Cuddy makes Oh, it. Kid Rock, Kid Rock. Not Kid Cuddy. Oh, kid, kid Rock. Kid Rock. Kid rock. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And then you know what comes on? I'm proud to be an American comes on. At and this is just like I think his normal playlist. I look over. Him and his wife are standing on the porch looking over that backyard. Don't tread on me flag. American flag. Hands on the hips and he just goes. Man, this is my favorite song. <laughs> and he says it to his wife. And I'm like, man, this is where you got to be for July 4th. He's got a tear rolling down his <laughs> yeah, eye. I was just like, man, this is the July 4th like party. He's over there grilling. He's handing out the corn on the cup. Oh, and when we, uh, there's these kids back from my high school who uh, they're sitting there playing Pong, and one of them straight up have one of their corn on the cobs in the back pocket of his jorts. And in between shots, he's pulling this out of the jorts and taking bites and then puts it back in the pocket. I'm like, man, this is great. <laughs> you associate with Dude, he, the, the, I love the kid. I used to play soccer with him. Him and his family are amazing. But I was just like... This is just like, it, it gets a little country. It gets a little country in certain areas of uh, my town. Country. You said, you tell me he's got corn on the cob in his back pocket. <laughs> I think it's the funniest thing. And it's just, I, the whole, thing's a, the whole thing is a 4th of July vibe. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, I just got that going on. What was it? You actually cut out there. Oh. Uh, city slickers like me got that going on. Yeah, you city, you city slickers. <clears throat> you, you, you. I feel like you just don't get the vibe. <laughs> but man, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. Yeah, you, you wouldn't understand. But man, was it? <laughs> it's just every year we go, and it's such a good time. And the family's so hospitable; they're just happy to have us there. Everyone's so cool. We all just drink. We drink a lot of uh. Well, you know, last year we were drinking a lot of Bud Light, but you know, we don't. Now it's probably a Coors Light house, <laughs> if I imagine. <laughs> if I'm imagining, they changed beer real quick. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> that's that's tough. That's tough. That is tough. It's definitely a Coors house oh, now, God. but man. <laughs> they're great people Wait, did, you, did you did you i don't know i don't want to say like hang out did you associate with them this week what? or is it me being uh an alcoholic that reminded you of this uh i i saw him at a uh i saw one of my friends at a housewarming party and he was there and he gotcha. you know his parents are very uh country he's not very country like i i, I would i don't get that vibe from him but Oh, there you go. But then I met the parents, like, maybe, I think we've gone to the the 4th of July party the last, like, four or five years. And then I was like, ah, he's, the, the, I, I, I see it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> so, uh, so one of your friends had a housewarming party? A bunch of, yeah. One of my other friends just, uh, he just bought a uh, condo. Really nice place. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, none of my friends are having housewarming parties. I haven't. <laughs> none that I've been invited to. So. I haven't had a housewarming. I haven't even had my, I was going to say my yes. close friends over. I haven't had like my local friends over. <laughs> like, no, it's just, hey man. He did, he did. Whatever you, it's, whatever you want to call him, man. How many episodes have I recorded with you? <laughs> That's I, don't a, know. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was going to, I was going to save it for the podcast. I, I guess <laughs> June June thirtieth. Uh, I might invite you over. To, we could I'm we busy. could go over the numbers together. I'm busy that day. Ah, uh. <laughs> but maybe for forty bucks, I might be less busy. That day. <laughs> maybe for the ad cut of these Minecraft episodes, we might oh, start. Man. We might start being in a in a zone there. Actually, I need to I need to hash out some beef with you. Mm. Uh I don't know what it is, but apparently hating on you isn't doing well for my channel anymore. So. I that's tough. Like you had, yeah, no, it was earned you some early that. momentum, but uh, it seems like I'm taking the slight lead in this competition we have going on. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, I think in the in the past week you, you swung the pendulum back in your favor. I don't uh, for it one. This wedding definitely wedding definitely took me off my game, because uh, I had to do a lot to prepare for it, uh, and then I was just gone for a few days. So, yeah, a few days I couldn't be creating. But but you got con like, okay. So I I was saying this a while ago back when Josh was streaming every day, and uh, like how you have to come up with content and how like. You don't want to be like, uh, you need to be multifaceted. Like you kind of need to do things to like be creative. I feel like, do you feel yeah. like you spending this time away and, and going out drinking and having a good time? Do you think you got, you, you think it helped you conjure up any new content? Um, I didn't get any new content. I, I did think about it cause I had to, uh, I had some time to pick the old brain. Hmm. And I think there's a few like, like uh, what's the word? Like not changes, but like a kind of like a different approach to like a mindset I, hmm. I have for coming up with ideas that I uh, that I realized. So you know, we'll see, we'll see. Different different uh mindset approach. Okay, so are we talking like you're gonna you're gonna start respecting women? Is that what's I changing do. here? I actually, or is, I'm, I actually I'm just got trying to fight yesterday because I saw uh two guys. Uh, mm. 
laughing at the price of women's hygiene products and i was like, naturally you okay. said it should be free and then i bought them for the whole store exactly okay yeah. okay yeah yeah naturally you made this stand and said you know this should be free in the writers guild should get exactly what they're asking for i actually i do i am with the <laughs> um, I, I, i'm actually more with the writers guild than you are the women uh, no, this is, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, come on. I, is, is there is at least a woman in the writer's guild? Mm. Uh, I don't know about the rest of them. <laughs> hey, uh, Cousins is, he's a stand up comedian. Um, but he is a part of the writer's guild. How do um, you, I didn't, did not realize that. How do you get into, so I, so I know it's like a unionized thing. And I, un- I, I, I look up. you looked this up already. How, how do you become a part of? Yeah. The, the like, writers like, guild? yeah. Like what m- qualifies you as a part of the writer's guild? Is it just, you work for a company that then was unionized under the writer's guild, similar to the teacher's union? Um, if you, uh, like are part of a production that is, uh, with a studio that has like recognized the collective bargain, like agreement of them. Okay. And there's studios that don't uns- recognize it, I assume. That basically probably like non-major studios. Okay. So like if you and I like this Minecraft series isn't you're not part of the Writers Guild right now. Yeah, yeah. Like if, if this video, you're not getting any. You're not getting into the Writers Guild. Okay. Okay. Um, if you wrote for like 21st Century Fox, then like okay, now you're a part of the writer's guild there's also like different levels of status within the guild like okay. there's full um and i don't know what the requirement is for any of that but okay okay yeah i i, I just i i never really understood how that worked okay well yeah. no, no no i agree i feel like they should get a, i think they should get most of what they're asking for i feel i i'm i'm you know i'm gonna sound like such a fucking like such a flipping like, uh, this is such a millennial, like, big man take. I question the, at what, how should, I, one of their big things is fighting AI in, like, the writer's room and it not having a place. Yes. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I, I don't know what the place it's, is, but to say it's not to be used at all feels... So I think there's, like it's, there's two two reasons for it. I uh, so starkly I, against it is because like I know what you're about it, to say. You you give an inch, they will take, and it will just build. Yeah. It's also, a pretty valid like, like debate to have over it with, uh, like, ch- like ChatGPT for example. Mm. It is just basically. Um, you cut so out, but every. It, Oh, it's a it's a predictive search engine, basically. Yeah, it's it it's essentially this... plagiarizes. Like, if you don't, the Writers Guild wrote everything that it would use as point of the people in the Writers Guild wrote everything that ChatGPT would use as a point of reference to give its idea. Yeah, exactly. So that makes it really weird, based on like you know argumentative. Like, is it not is technically ai just not plagiarizing a text yeah. f- for centuries like is that kind of not what it is and then i'm just like yeah. i agree i think that's true i just don't know like to say to say it doesn't belong anywhere in the space i don't know how i feel about that like what's his name uh not that he's you know in great uh standing right now uh the uh the guy who wrote rick and morty his video game used ai for the voices of some of the characters yeah, I think I mean I, I don't know the full ex- argument. I but I bet you the like not giving them the ability like, like wherever they can make a buck like mm. a studio will. Yeah. And it's like, "Oh, well, you can just fire one of these writers and use an AI tool." Yeah. That I bet is the main reason for it. Yeah. 
Um, I did. I Gooden video on this. Oh, did you watch that Drew Gooden video? I I saw that. Uh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, I think today didn't it drop today? Uh, yeah. So that's why I have a good amount of it on the mind. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think literally it's... watched it like thirty minutes ago. Oh, I watched. I think I watched <laughs> this morning or yesterday. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, um, I think it's a really interesting dilemma. And then the other things totally make sense. Them like you, you should. They shouldn't be kicked out of the kicked out of like the filmings, which is like one of their big things. Yeah, and the. Uh... What was I gonna say? This is this is a topic we got off of, but I, it was about um, uh, uh, me hating on you isn't doing as great for my channel anymore. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so my most recent video was paying people on Fiverr to roast you. Yeah, how many views does that have? Um, is that is that really just like not forty eight? Didn't do well. It's my it's a seven out of forty eight uh, for me. It views in in five days, five and a half days. Yeah, that is low. Um, yeah, not not ideal. Uh, it had a low click through rate, and I I rotated so many uh, uh, thumbnails. Um, you know, it just it didn't perform well, uh, like click wise, and then it also. It wasn't that funny. I thought it was funny hiring people on Fiverr to make fun of you. Um, guess not. I don't know. I, I I I watched the video. I thought it was a good video. I the thing is okay. Not to be a little shit. I thought it was a good video. I don't think it was one of your best videos, but I thought it was like you know. Oh, I I feel like I would I feel like I would watch it like and I... and the video and the video. Oh okay. no, <laughs> I I definitely definitely wasn't my. Best. But is but I feel like okay. I'm gonna throw out a wild one. Even if it was hypothetically a bad video, which I wasn't. You think it's a bad video? I don't think it's a bad video. But what I'm saying is like, it feels like people should still click on the video because it had a good thumbnail, good title, good concept. Like, I just, I'm surprised you're not getting people to click on it, is all. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't, probably just not the, not the right thing, not the right fit. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's tough. Well, I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, my channel is doing better than ever. I'm going to, uh, we have to keep talking and delivering good, good zingers so we can uh, use this for uh, TikToks. Because I think I'm going to uh, keep someone on on staff to do maybe maybe two times a week or three times a week TikToks. Oh, there you go. The problem is I don't think my other content is funny enough. Like my personal, like the stuff that's me solo where it's me playing stuff. I don't think I have enough bits in those. And I don't think I could have, I don't think I would be able to think of enough creative stuff to like fill those with edited TikToks. I'm wondering. Um, I'm. <laughs> I, to be fair, I don't. I don't watch your other videos. Yeah. Um, there series. is. That's a good the, series. It's okay. Like I know. It, like if you watch my Long Dark series, I'm just talking about Long Dark. There's no space for that. I might be able to yeah, crack some funny jokes with like The Sims that might pop off, but. You might be able to get something good out of The Sims. Uh, but you also need that, like, I don't need, I don't know if Valheim would do well. I mean, um, definitely worth testing it, but I don't know if I, if I, uh, just because people might not know versus Minecraft. Everyone knows what Minecraft is. Yeah. Everyone sees Minecraft on, you know, your for you page and stuff. That's why it's like, it's so good. Cause you see it and you're like, Okay, this is something I've seen before, and then you watch it, and like, oh, that was kind of funny, or that kind of sucked. But someone did write on one of my uh, shorts. They said because uh, all the shorts are called Minecraft funny moments. Uh, somebody wrote, "Where's the funny moment?" And I was like, "God damn, that hurt me." <laughs> That's tough. I I don't even remember which one it was. So I was like, "Damn, you really you really going there?" I've gotten some some. 
Also, I got some really, really nice comments recently, so shout out those nice commenters. Uh, this video is brought to you by those nice commenters. Make me feel good almost every time. Those nice commenters, thank you. Do you have a sponsor? You're gonna, you're gonna kiss them? Probably on the mouth. <laughs> like, I have another sponsor lined up if you, if you don't have one. I, I actually don't have one hot and ready. This video is also brought to you by Liquid IV. Liquid IV ah. helping me make the drive home. Did you actually? Thank you. <laughs> did you actually do Liquid IV? Yeah. How is it? I I've done. Uh, I I I bought back for my graduation thing. I did. Uh, you were there for my graduation. I was really. Oh, uh, back when I got invited to stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back when you were invited to stuff. I got really plastered there, and I did. Uh, I had a Pedialyte. I had a bottle of Pedialyte oh, the next yeah. day, and I have to say, yeah, I, I don't I, know if it did anything. I want to think it did something, and I guess technically it should do something because on paper it makes sense. But I, 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 I don't know. I, I want to pretend it did something, but I still felt very hungover. Got, so, do you need a new pick? I got one for you. Eh, we need to wrap it up, anyways. Well, I still give you a new pick. I want to look good. My boy. You gave me a half-broken iron pick. That's brutal. Uh, wow. I'm sorry. Do you not like free things? Free things? Like the thing you're going to get from our sponsor, Liquid IV, if you use code... Uh, code... Hangover. hangover <laughs> uh, wedding hangover. Hang hangover, but not the movie, the Minecraft common wow that that's that's code that's code it's a long we really got screwed by the their their marketing team. and they're only paying us if you use the code so mm, they strict, they know what yeah, oh it's that's a strict the, referral a red. deal Redstone. it's a very it's a very low percentage i i feel like those must be like i was off i told you i was offered one of those right a liquid IV. Oh, a referral, a referral of it. Dude, uh, it, it, I deal. feel like it's such BS because I'm not going to get dang referrals. I'm not going to do your ad read for a referral. Expect That one was a uh, cloud gaming service, which was actually real. But I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get anyone to actually sign up for your cloud gaming service. I would only do like a refer sponsor if it was a product I actually like used. Well, I feel like you should... I'm I'm gonna throw out something. I feel like you should already get like a small cut of something before. I feel like because to argue the only people who you know give you money is the people who sign up and buy the platform isn't fair to what marketing is. You know, both of us in marketing. I mean, there's some, yeah. There's some you know awareness pay there that feels like I guess if the referral pay was really good, then maybe you could make that argument, but. This referral pay was not very good. Yeah. Well, well like really, a referral is just affiliate marketing. Yeah. It's like having one of those Amazon links. Yeah. But, but I don't, I don't, I don't have anything that I sell here. Use my, yet, uh, but... use my Epic games code to get, I don't know. Something not to kick into a super tangent. I we uh, we we are. I just got it's no no it's no, so no. Relevant do the do the tangent do the tangent. Uh, on TikTok, are you mm. getting all sh like the shop stuff? now? I get so many. Like I am talking like almost every other to like two to one, the stupid shop ads, and I swipe past them so quickly now because I'm oh, like I want you to stop recommending me it. Because I'm not going to buy it's, anything with the TikTok shop. They're putting a big push. On. But I was just making sure that wasn't just me. It's insane the number of like TikTok shop ads I'm getting right now. And it like drives me insane. It's so stupid. I'm not going to sign up for the TikTok shop. I'm not going to buy an item off TikTok shop. It's always like crappy yeah, no. drop shipped items too, which is just, you know. Yeah. It's Shopify all over again. 
It's what? weird. It has the same uh, layout as like AliExpress. He, he, doesn't it just use AliExpress? I have no clue. I, I, oh, I, I, kinda, sure. I, I looked at it and I kind of just assumed they were somehow partnered or affiliated with AliExpress. I mean, they're owned by ByteDance. There's a good chance there's like... They're both Chinese companies. Using... They, yeah. If they, you know, they have to follow underneath the, you know, that like guideline. So they might have said use a Chinese company to fulfill these orders. And it might have just been easier like for that. them to use AliExpress. Who knows? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Either way, they're super annoying, and I feel like I see way too many of them. And I, I honestly think if they keep push, you know, I would say it could be the death of TikTok. It, nothing's gonna fucking kill TikTok. I really think they'd have to really f things up to kill it right now. It's way too popular. It must be the most popular social media platform of all time, ever. All right, that's that tangent. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time viewership. Go subscribe to Jamie. He's having a tough time in this competition. And I, I just don't want to, I just don't want it to be such a uh, blowout. I want to keep it fun. I don't want to, I want to keep it fun. Go over to my communities tab, find Jamie, go subscribe, watch that video of him roasting me by paying for people on Fiverr to roast me. One of the guys is funnier than Jamie. One of the people you paid, he was some, I can't think of his, no, Seth? It's not, not a hard feat. Jason? What What was his name? It was oh, something generic. Oh, Brad. 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 <laughs> I was like, it was something generic. That's all I knew. But uh, go check out that video, and I'll see all you guys in that, no, in that next one. Bye.